I'll get my girl to give you something nice. I'll just, I've just gotta go pop and see her. Oh, oh, oh. Oops. Hello. I killed him. Great. I can build Connie nine. Can't get too excited yet. I still need to deliver the flower. Was it for you? Have to tell us now. Oh uh, yeah, I'll tell you. There was a high into girl in the camp. She was in shock about what happened uh, uh, about the Telefia. She could not say a word. She couldn't even tell me her name. Then she just disappeared. I take care of the people here, but I looked everywhere for her. She's a calling nine now? Yeah, she is. She never smiles and doesn't eat as well as she should. I'm really worried about her. That's why I thought a beautiful flower would cheer her up. It might even make her feel better. Not that thoughtful. I guess she attractive? It's not it. Well, she is beautiful. I'm just worried about her. I think it's lovely. It's wonderful to see two different beings finding happiness together. It doesn't matter to me whether she is high into her homes. If you like someone, you don't care what they look like. I agree. It does not matter. Yeah, I care about her wings, I guess. I shouldn't think of my body's looking that strange. Such a kind of innocent. Is innocence going to be a new thing? And the moment anyone sees that smile of yours, they'll be smitten. Thank you. Drop by and see me calling you nine if you have time. I'll be glad to see you anytime. Does she already have? I can't remember. Oh, speed. Drop. Innocence, yep. Okay. We shook. You never see a sight like this from Colony 9, right, Dunban? Right. I don't think I ever get tired of looking at, out at this landscape. I wonder where these rock formations date from. Yeah. You don't sound very interested. Sorry, what was that? Oh, yeah, I guess not then. Oops. Did you say something? I apologize, Sulk. My, my mind was elsewhere. I guess if you're not running to a topic, you're really not into it. Me? Am I really like that? Yes, you are. Here, let me test you. What part, to be honest, are we on? Uh, thigh, of course. What do you think? What do you think you're talking to, Shulk? That much I I do know. It's obvious. I didn't mean to offend you, but I could have put that better. I'll get over it. These things interest you a lot, don't they? They always have geography, geology, that kind of thing. Yeah, just that the balance is so big. Even these places, and I've not even seen half of them. Can you imagine exploring the balance's back, for example? No one's ever been there. It's completely uncharted. But the view is better than anywhere else on Bionis. I feel your enthusiasm, Shulk. Your passion is a great thing. You support your implicity on your, all your endeavors. You can support me as loud as well. You know, I don't mind. Chosarla, is this what Connie 6 is supposed to look, look like? It's definitely getting there. Come a long way, a little more work and it'll be perfect. Really, if you ask me, it looks it's looking good already. Plenty of warm homes and thriving businesses, it's great. True. We have nearly everything we need, but we can't stop here. It has to be a place where everyone can feel safe. Then it'll really feel like Connie 6 again. Safe him for everyone, huh? I know what you mean. You come so far, it'll be tra tragedy to lose it all again. Yes, and that's why you have to make it feel safe. A place where no one will ever be sad or afraid of losing their home. You will achieve your dream. How can you be so sure? They just look around you. Oh, oops. The kind of people you see is not just Homs. Oh, we went down because of that. There are no point Hyantia and Machina as well. Do you realize what you're creating here? No, I hadn't thought about that before. It's just too amazing. It's just amazing to see this. All the different people of the world living together in peace. It's something special, all right? And I realize something else. This colony has become the focal point of Bionis. Here? Our colony? I don't doubt it for a second. Connor 6 will be a place where it doesn't matter where you're from. Anyone can come here and make friends, build a family. Can you picture, picture it, Sarla? Those who have lost their lives will not have died in vain. The people everywhere can look to it as a beacon of hope. You're right, Shulk. We can't afford to lose this hard work. You have to push on. Great. Just don't, tell, don't, just don't forget to tell me if you need anything. I will. And don't expect me to give you the easy work. Okay, back up the max. Phew! Okay. 
Okay, which one's this one? Ah, right, I forgot. Everybody like loves Ricky, so any sort of thing with him will be guaranteed to be active. This park is very pretty. <laughs> it's raining horribly out, though. There's a park in Kali and Line, but it's nothing quite like this. Park brings back memories for Fiora? It does, actually. It brings back a lot of memories. Shulk, Ryan, and me used to play in the park in Kali and Line. Ricky love memories. Park remind Ricky of Forest. Which is wonderful, isn't it? When I'm surrounded by nature, I feel alive. Like, not, like nothing matters. Ricky too, Ricky too. Grass whispering, trees talking. Whispering and talking, huh? I like the sounds of nature, too. I bet you miss Machina Forest sometimes. We are so clever. If you understand Ricky's talking and feelings. Uh, I like the way you speak. When you hear you talk, you get a nice warm feeling inside. Maybe it's magic? Really? Hmm. Ricky now know why, but not not usually magic. Ah, it's okay, Ricky. Not every question needs an answer. All I mean is, I wouldn't change a thing about you. Not change Ricky? That means Ricky good. As long as you keep cheering everyone up, you certainly are. Leave it to Ricky. Ricky's job is to make friends feel best it's ever. Come on, you big ball of fun. Let's see everyone. Let's see if you make everyone laugh. Ricky, ready for your... Okay. We're mean old Ryan. I'm... <laughs> make him do a happy hum hum. <laughs> That's good. Seafro lamp is like the ones in Tefro Cave. You mean the ones on a route between our two colonies? Those people would have put it there by the, by the people from Colony 6. You learn something new every day, huh? See the yellow glow? It's because the lamp uses electric ether crystals. I didn't know that either. I guess some days you learn two new things. I do know electric tech crystals glow the brightest. Bingo. Once upon a time replenishing lamps with fresh ether was my job. It was my very first job, actually. I used to follow the route all the way down into the ether mine. Must have been rough. Not really, it wasn't that bad. Kept my eyes on the prize. Oh no! A frown used to give me a pretty good reward whenever I was finished. Oh yeah, what'd he give you? Small ether crystal shard. Not big enough to give out uh, any energy on its own. But when I had enough, I combined them to make cartridge. You could do that back then? Wow, it's some talent. When Shulk asked me to do a gem crafting, he ends up hating me. Finally, six realized on its ether mine, and we grew up with it. So making ether manipulating to make things comes uh, naturally. Thinking about it brings back some of these new memory, uh, old memories though. I collected ether cr uh, crystal shards of all different colors. Then I try mixing them to collect, uh, together. I need to, oh gosh, give me a second. I thought I might be able to make an entirely new color of crystal. Combining things like... Yeah, things like that. If you mix yellow and blue paint, you get green, right? I figured it had to be the same for ether crystals, so I tried it out. Did you get it to work? I had a go at doing something like that once, taking bits of different crystals and mixing them all up. Then Shulk started shouting at me for wasting all the good crystals, so I uh, kind of gave up. <laughs> I guess it's different in Kali 9. You don't have a limited supply of crystals like we do. Me, Gato, and Juju used to experiment all, experiment all the time, but if the clue is, is different, forget it. Or you get a power suit. Funny, isn't it? Only a small difference, and things don't mix well. Like men and women. Where did that come from? We were talking about ether crystals. It's this place, I just can't help but thinking about certain things. I learned so much about Gato, about rifles, cartridges, fighting. If only I could turn back time. Don't be so down on yourself. All that frowning is going to give you wrinkles. Not the nicest way to put it, but I can see where you're getting at. Sorry, Ryan, I guess I'm not really acting like, like myself. But talking to you like this makes me somehow feel calm. Do you know what you're supposed to be apologizing for? But whatever it is, it does not matter. Now, how about we try mixing up some different Kalur crystals? You can make, you can be the first people to even make a new Kalur. Maybe right now it's not the right time for that. But one day I'll teach you all there is to know about ether crystals. You have to handle them with a care, like a woman's heart. Ouch! I get the feeling this stuff's never going to be my forte. <laughs> Poor Ryan. Isn't it nice climbing up trees? It really takes me back to when Charlie was little pun. 
Yes, exactly. Ah, oh, to be a little girl again. You can feel like a little punt too. Not surprised. I'm sure you you love climbing trees when you're little, just like me. Try to look good at climbing trees? Try to look like proper lady Ricky not know Charlotte climbed trees. It's a very nice thing of you to say. I'm not really that lady like. I couldn't get on top of the sitting at uh, the top of trees. I could not get enough of sitting on top of trees. Ricky and Little Pond love climbing trees together. But but where is it, Ricky? My little pond not like it. Oh dear, why not? Did something happened to them? Ricky no reason. When Ricky take eyes away from Little Pond, Little Pond gets scared. Little Pond suck at top of a tree and wait for Ricky the whole day. Well, that sounds horrible. Are they okay now? All the Little Pond at school tease my Little Pond because they're not climbing now. All Ricky's fault. Don't beat yourself up, Ricky. With some, little, with some love and care, the little one will be fine. And then when they're ready, you can take them climbing again. Ricky likes Charlie's idea. You're a nice home home, Charlie. You're a good father, Ricky. The best is here upon father. Something like that. I don't know. Ricky smashes, though. I rewatched uh, my Latrion death montage actually earlier. I, uh. Maybe, maybe realize how uh, me recording in 1080p is actually a really good thing because holy crap, <laughs> the bitrate on those like World and Iceborne VODs are probably like horrible. But uh, yeah, you know, that's the limitations of Twitch because you know, even if I were to do like 1080p streams, bitrate would get crunched. So, you know. It'd be, it'd be how little. Oh, I want to view, please. Hey, if you are, I wanted to ask you something. Where's the Charlotte? Ask away. Your uh, new body. It's not malfunctioning, is it? What? It's just, you don't look like you're doing so well. Sorry, was it that obvious? I knew it, so you're experiencing some malfunctions. I didn't mention before, but Linnea is teaching me some Machina anatomy. Why do you need to know that? Because when this is all over, I'm going to quit the Defense Force and become a doctor. People are returning to Colony 6, still need a doctor. Oh, that's amazing. I know that without maintenance Monado, your energy is depleted. You only have a small reserve left now. Apparently so. I can't be so laid back about this. You should be back in the honest infirmary, not here doing this. Oh, I'm fine here. You know, she doesn't want to hear that. Listen to me, Fiora. If you don't get treatment now, you may not make it. I'm sorry, Charlie. I don't want to make you worry like this, but I can't go back. You can't. You're throwing your life away. I can't leave a shulk. Not now. This body stops working and he's not by my side. Fiora. It's my decision, Charlie. I'm stupid or otherwise. Not as if I don't understand how you're feeling, but you can't just give up that someday we can fix you. I promise you, you won't give up. I will save you, Fiora. Don't worry, Charlotte. I don't. T I don't tend to give up. <laughs> There's one area of medicine in which I do not excel. Do you know what it is? It is dental treatment, and it seems that my rival Yusa is also doing studies in that field. I want to be fir uh, first to perfect my dental treatment methods. Okay. But should I implement effective dental treatments? I need you two to bring me two or these horns. Okay. Can I let you submit me to it? Huh? Yeah. Nilo, Nilo not know what to do. What should Nilo do? It would be impossible for me to do alone. And Nilo talk to friends about something? There is talk of rebuilding Imperial Capital. But it is dangerous at the moment because many Telafia are there. You look like you know Telafia. Even in that form, they still remain in, in Imperial Capital. They probably still think they're a little like bird people. They cannot leave things as they are. Can't let Imperial City, uh, ca Imperial Capital become City of Death. It pains me to say this, but friends must seek out those Telafia. Seek out those Telafia who were once Nilo's old friends. Oh. When you find them, put them to sleep. Friends do this for Nilo. Sorry to ask you of this, friends. Nilo's old friends in forms of Aurora Telafia. Good luck with this task. Dang, that's uh. Cool. I mean, is Maria like a teenager for a for a high entia like 88? So, you know. 
Dr. Yusa is amongst best known upon doctors, and I often go to him. But wondering if he is better than a new doctor. Hello? More and more no point come to me complaining about toothache. I come up with good treatment, but I do not have enough materials. A few years ago, I was every no point support of call for medicine. And what hatchling know it all called Melody taking on my business. I could barely see my patients because of the pain in my knees. Where exactly are no puns knees? Here, right here. I just see good old solid knee joints. I, I, I can't see him. Or he injures his knees, I can respond appropriately. Thank you. Oh. Nuptoofs? Why? What? Alright. I have to send us desert pee later. <laughs> Thank you, your opponent, friend, so you could do it. You would do it. Before Vang Milk Teeth, I should be able to continue my treatments. I want to be able to fix people quicker than Dr. Medley can. Take care, but hurry. It's, it's pretty fun to, to read the no puns uh, <laughs> dialogue, but I feel at some point I lose brain cells as I do it. Friends know Deki. He little he's he little pun my grampy pun. He's stubborn and he has no friends. He's such a lonely grampy pun. Little pun want me to do something for him, but what? What should little pun me do to help grampy pun Deki? Little pun me had good idea. Grampy pun like loves bug, right? Little pun me will find a friend who likes bugs too. Okay. Please send me a friend for little pun me grampy pun. Someone who likes bugs. The Grampy Pun Deki will not be sad anymore. Alright. Little Pun, me, very, me very, very grateful. Now go now. Gigantic massive friends. Find Little Pun, me. An old Pun who likes bugs. Me. At a Pun somewhere in Barnes like He called Gerugu. Friends know him? Actually, but where about that Pun? No, I, I don't me. remember. A cheap plus data pun work up his leg with no pun merchants. But terrible thing but terrible turtle steal data pun stinks. A sheep must mama pun stop eating because she worries so much. So Pachi I want friends to go help go help Data Pun. Data Pun's name is Gerigu. Naughty turtle steal but data pun squits. Friends go bash naughty turtles. Said the ad some out towards this oh boy. Naughty turtles balance his leg in a place called v Vanilla Hill, I think. Anyway, some place like that. Kiko told on friends to bust up. Uh, la la pa. If friends don't stop talking, he be washes down. Right, what? Me? Chief has left the village, so up to me alone to conduct prayers. Miko looking for someone to help. Can you assist Miko? It's not very complicated, really. Miko out. Perlo Perlo to not uh, to do night patrol properly and no slack off. Can you tell him for Miko? I get told off for slacking off, but you gotta really do the job properly. I could do anything if I think of the grub I'll get after work's done. Hmm. Oh, wait, that was, was that for. Wait, who was saying that? I don't remember anymore. I'm thinking for now. Can we see opinion? Give me a turning port for Perlo Perlo. Please help. Okay. This is what Miko expects from Hero Pun Ricky and Sidekicks. Please go talk to Peter Pelo. Maybe it was Ryan that was saying that. Oops. <laughs> Ryan, Ryan got a little bit of that no pun blood in him. <laughs> 